Okay, you need to use an Android device or even iPhone or iPad. So I turn it on and keep it unlocked with the cable. The cable is important. You have to use a high-speed data cable. I'm using the cable from the Samsung T7 Shield, so it's really it's capable of really high-speed USB 3.2 speeds. If you're using a slower cable, it might take longer to transfer the data. So first I plug it in in one of the devices and then I plug it in in the other device. The orientation doesn't really matter, but I had these uh, markings of up for the computer for something else. And now the phones are communicating with each other. And even on the Samsung on the left, on the old phone, I have a pop-up that is telling me it's understanding that I'm connecting another device and if I want to copy the data right there. So they're talking to each other, communicating. And on the old Android phone, I have to confirm that I want the data to be accessed. This is important for safety. And now this is going to take some time. You can check the time if you want. And also you see the battery. It wasn't really very close to full, but it worked eventually. And I can choose what I want to copy and I choose everything. This process would copy also pictures and videos, but I removed those from the old phone just to make things faster here. So I don't have to wait too long. Also the space on the old phone is 512 gigabyte and the new phone is 256. So it might not even fit if you don't remove some things. You have to agree for the, I choose not to back up photos and videos because we don't have a, like a, one of the premium plans for Google One or the cloud backup. And uh, it's it's uh, taking less space to copy the apps only without photos and videos. I set up a passcode and also a fingerprint. I really recommend to use fingerprint. On this phone, it's on the side, on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5, but on most Android phones, it will be on the screen. You have to agree to all the steps and even the cards if you want to add, a, I can leave some things for later. You don't have to do all the steps right now. And these are additional apps that are being installed on that phone, on that on the Sony Xperia phone. And many steps, I prefer to hide the sensitive information on notifications when your, the phone is not unlocked. And now it's almost finished, almost there.